This is our data validation management product called DVM. It's an Excel add-in, and uh, we use this a lot uh, in data migration uh, to verify accuracy of, of our data loads, and, and we use it to compare legacy data against um, SAP data. So why you might want to use DVM? Number one, really easy to use. You don't need any technical skills. It's got some nice additional features to it to set up cross-references. Um, it can handle varying uh, date formats. Uh, you get a detailed report and dashboard at the end. Now automates the, the validation of the data so you don't manually have to do that um, uh, with users. Uh, so we're going to cover how to get started uh, using DVM, how to populate the legacy sheet, how to populate the SAP sheet. Those are the bare minimums that you need to make DVM work. Um, and then how to set a key between uh, those sheets because it needs to know uh, what the key is going to be setting a sample size, then we're going to do a perfect run and then a run with some errors and we'll take a look at the dashboard as well. Alright, so we're going to open up Excel and we're going to go to the uh, DVM uh, tab here and we're going to click setup. And when we click setup we get a number of sheets that appear at the bottom. Uh, the legacy and the SAP sheets are, are um, the, the basic sheets you need to, to make DVM uh, work properly. Here's some legacy data that was loaded uh, into SAP. We're going to paste that into our legacy sheet of DVM. And now the SAP sheet needs some data. So I've got a query set up here to query the LFA1 table. So now I've got the legacy sheet and the SA sheet populated. But now I need to tell it what, what the key is uh, uh, between the two sheets. So my key is going to be my vendor number. Uh, and the key's got to be unique, so it's got to be a unique value. So I've, I've told it that the key is the vendor number. Now I'm going to set the sample size. I'm going to set it to 100%. Because I've only got about 64 rows. And I'm going to run DVM. And I will get a dashboard. And in this case, the first section shows my compared items. 100% match. Uh, there were 512 items. 64 rows, all successful. And 8 columns, all successful. So this is an example of a perfect match. Everything was good. 100% success. So now let's show what happens if we had some errors. So we're going to go to the SAP sheet here, and we're going to pretend a few things didn't load properly. Uh, in, in one case, maybe a state didn't load. Maybe a city was misspelled. So we'll mis misspell one of the city names here. And uh, then we'll, we'll mess up one more piece of data and uh, the search term, and we'll set, set that to something else. And we now we want to rerun validation. And in this case, we're, we're going to see that there's going to be some errors. And we get a new dashboard. The dashboard is showing us there's th three incorrect data points. There were 509 that were exact, exact so still a total of 512 items. But now uh, DVM highlights on the SAP sheet which records had an issue. And we also get a mismatch sheet. And this shows all the details of, of where things uh, did not match. And so you see the legacy value and the SAP value and that they were not correct. They didn't match each other. So some common scenarios for, for this. Um, internally, you might have some system migration going on uh, from a legacy system uh, to a new SAP system. Might be doing a merger and acquisition. We use this product a lot in that scenario. Mass changes to master or transactional data. Um, saves you from having to manually review the data and also a great product to figure out known good data uh, for your testers so you, for your test team to know uh, what the good data is out there. Alright so this is the data validation uh, management uh, product called DVM con from Configurable Management. If you're interested in this product and you want to learn more please contact us, um, check out our website, give us a call or email.